Simplify. The cube root of square root of five plus two. Oh my God, it is even hard to read. However, I have a wonderful trick. Learn this. Thank Quora World for providing this question. Firstly, observation. The big one is a cube root, and the small one is a square root. Don't you think it is so complicated? We don't like the form. So what can we do? As our first step, I would like to substitute this term as a, and construct another term. So let's firstly substitute this guy as a. Now what I'm gonna do is to change the order of these two numbers. Square root of five and two. I would like to write two plus square root of five here. Why? I'm gonna explain to you later. So then I'm gonna construct another form. What is it? We can let b be equal to its conjugate form. Of course, it is plus turns to minus, so easy. The cube root of two minus square root of five. A is this term, so we have to simplify A. We have to find the value of A. B, we don't care about it, however, it is very important for A. Since A and B, these two terms they have many relationships. For example, cube the both sides in these two equations. For example, in our first equation, a cube is two plus square root of five. For our second equation, b cube is two minus square root of five. And you can see there is a plus square root of five in a cube and a minus square root of five in b cube. So if we add a cube to b cube, then the right hand side will be two plus two, which is equal to four. There is only one reason, that is, since here is plus, here is minus. So easy. Are there any other relationships between A and B? Of course, that is the product of A and B. A times B, it is negative one, actually. Now we shall focus on the left hand side of the first equation, A cubed, plus b cubed is a plus b and then times factorization a squared minus a b plus b squared a squared plus b squared we don't know the value of it we only know that a times b is negative one here we don't know the value of a plus b either so what can we do now we can transformate this term which in the second bracket. Since we know that the value of a cube plus b cube is four, so now I'm gonna transformate the four. Now, it can be written as a plus b all squared minus three times a b. Since we know the values of a cube plus b cube and a times b. So then, there's only one thing that we don't know. It is a plus b. So we only have to focus on a plus b and regard this equation as an equation about a plus b. So here, we can write it as an equation. Look, minus three ab, a times b is negative one, minus three times negative one, it is minus minus three. Minus negative three is positive three, plus three. The right hand side is four, here. So actually, a plus b then times a plus b squared. It is a plus b or q, and then plus three times a plus b. Minus four is zero. So then we can regard this equation as an equation about a plus b. So now we can substitute again. If you want to substitute, substitute. If you don't want to substitute, don't substitute. So we can, now I'm going to substitute, of course. So we can let, I'm going to write it here, the sum of a and b be equal to t. 
So this equation is going to turn into an equation about tea. About tea, not coffee, okay? So it's t cubed plus 3t minus 4 is equal to 0. And then we have to solve for the value of t. By inspection, everything begins with inspection. I've said 1,000 times. My dear, you cannot break this rule. Or by checking the rational roots, you can find out easily that t equals 1 is one of the roots of this equation. So this is our clue. This is our hint. This is our way. For the factorization. So now I know since t is equal to 1, is one of the roots of this equation. So, I can write this negative 4, I can separate this negative 4, it can be regarded as negative 3, then minus 1. Or minus 1, then minus 3. It would be better. So, t cubed minus 1 plus 3t minus 3 equals 0. So then, we've succeeded. t minus 1 take out t minus 1 times t squared plus t plus 1 plus 3. Don't forget this plus 3. Don't confuse it, okay? It is. Oh my god. I said don't confuse it. And I confused it. Oh. So next time I should say please confuse it. And nobody will confuse it. So easy. Just kidding. But I'm so angry. My brain is broken by aliens, maybe. Please pay attention. Here is 4, not 1. Sorry. Please laugh at me. t squared plus t plus 4. This one, it cannot be equal to 0. Since the delta... There is no shortage of pins. However, I chose this pin. And we cannot see it clearly. So that's the problem. I'm so stupid today. I'm tired. So the delta is smaller than 0. It is b squared minus 4ac. It is 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4, which is equal to negative 15. It is, of course, smaller than 0. So our only choice is t minus 1 is equal to 0, t is equal to 1. So we know that a plus b is t. So a plus b is 1. And the product of them is negative 1. So then from the second equation, we can get b is actually negative 1 over a. And we can substitute this equation into our first equation, and we can get a quadratic equation about a. So then, solve a. Multiply the both sides by a, so it's going to be a squared minus a minus 1, which is equal to 0. This is actually a famous equation, isn't it? So a is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. This guy, 1 over square root of 5 divided by 2, it is smaller than 0. So please desert it. We only have to choose the value which is bigger than 0. Of course, the first one. 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. We got the answer. It is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Only 4% of people will subscribe to me. Are you the one of the 4%? Subscribe to me for more videos. See you in the next video.